say something. <laughs> say something. <laughs> Cheers. Happy long weekend. Yes. And golden day tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so many. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is another day in the vlog, and as always, it's morning. I'm preparing for. So it's just my usual, just my usual morning cleanup and stuff, which I'm doing right now. Uh, guess what happened to me, guys? Oh, this vlogging is not easy. I didn't realize that my camera battery was actually going down yesterday. I was um, trying to vlog. I had even started vlogging, right? And then, well, the thing went off. So I'm going to continue that video because I was showing you guys um, the things I got from Dolorama to decorate my space and how I arranged my makeup area and then the wall decor that I actually got from Dolorama. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to feed it into this video because it's a continuation of that one and just continue from there. Sometimes these things happen with vlogging. It's not easy. So, my normal morning cleaning, I use this to wipe you know, off all my tabletops just to sanitize and make it ready for use for the day. Okay? But today, I have lunch out with my supervisor. That's the young She's really a sweet lady. Really, really. I tell her, I said, look, sometimes there's really not too much I can or say to express how appreciative I am to actually be on a team and the immerse support. Because, guys, you are in a foreign land, you need this support. I hear people complain about where they work and, you know, what the experiences are. Yeah, it differs and it happens. So you are not immune. But because I have such a very supportive supervisor, it makes things easy for me. Even you might really not have everybody to support you. People don't understand. Some people don't like you. Some people don't want you on their team. But if you have someone that wants you, it makes the whole thing change for you. And you always want for your support and your, and your best interest at all times. So that's very important. So that's very important. So she's taking me out to Una. Una, she says, is a pizza place. I've never been there. And if you're here to review all my restaurants that I've been going, you know, giving you reviews on, please go check it out. I will link some of them here, but check it out. And, um, and you know, this is just me giving you restaurants that you can find time out of time to just step out and have some lunch, dinner, supper with a loved one, or even yourself. You want to teach yourself, you don't want to cook, you can help. A me time out for lunch or supper, which is really good. So, this one is a pizza place, and it's not too far because it's going to where actually going around lunch time. I was going to thank as many of you guys that have supported me in one way or the other to assist me immigrants with one thing or the other. Um, Certainly, new immigrants is not an easy task, and I know that usually I spend out of pocket to be able to do this. I, you know, just give out of my own free will because that's what I'm passionate about. Um, so I want to thank as many people that give one or two things. 
I opened an Instagram handle, House Trends Ready, where I was asking guys to follow me. You can, can also follow me on that channel. I'm going to link it here as well. Follow me on that channel. I was asking if you have um, thrift items that you want to give away to new immigrants. If you have, if you want to sell them for thrift, you know, just get something small. Or if you actually want to give it out, it's, I won't be able to take them, ex especially if they are big items like beds or furniture. There's no way I want to put them, but if they are little items, I can. So I want to let you know that I still have that platform for as many of you that want to donate physical items to that cause. It's welcomed. I also have um, cash donations that I request for. So if you also have cash donations, because this will also go a long way to help settling immigrants, just leave two things for them. I usually buy them grocery, cook for them, support them in one way or the other, take them out to do stuff. So whatever kind of gesture that you want to give will also go a long way. So I have a link on my in my bowel whereby there's donation with you can free will. It's a free will donation. So you can donate and please put in the description of your iterator transfer donation so that I can capture that accordingly. Uh, would definitely appreciate it. So thank you guys. I've gotten a few things from people, those I can skip like kettles, like kitchen items. I have a few things and I'm still putting them. I have a lot of people that I have already DM me saying that they are landing some with these dates and this date. So it would be helpful to support them in one way or the other. Nothing is too small, nothing is too much because I got as much support and I know that um, you will as well if you're landing some. And for as many of you that have landed and have spent a few days, a few months or even year i have um, a podcast going on that i am in, interviewing it's just a 10 to 15 minutes podcast whereby you share your newcomer experience i have also linked to mine in my bio so go check it out i had i was interviewed by um, the newcomer society in, in canada when i landed and i think it would be a good idea for people to also learn from your own experience so whatever experience you have is not too menial to share, right? So all these experiences go a long way to help and settle other people when they land. So um, it's just a call to you. If you're interested, DM me, send me a message. I have a link in my bio for you to also send me a message. If you need to drop on a message or you need to ask a question, you can use that. I will be attending to that faster than anywhere else. So guys, go on that and um, send me a message. You can DM me as well, that's also fine. But you can also use that um, link is in my bio, whereby I said, send me a message or drop a question. If you have any question, I'll be attending to that as well. So get on there, you can reach me from my bio. There are just so many ways in which um, you can benefit from the things that I'm doing. So please go on that. If you want to be interviewed on my podcast, please indicate you are not showing your face because I know so many people that are really shy, especially for those that are already. They say, No, 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 no. I understand that you guys actually left the country without saying bye bye to people. You didn't want your village people to run after you. You, didn't, you just didn't want people to know, right? But that's fine. If you don't mind a podcast whereby I'm not showing your face, right? So it's just a voice, your face is not showing, nobody sees you, and um, we'll just take it from there. So, talking too much for the morning. So I'm just prepping, trying to get things sorted out. It's still morning, my guys are still in bed. So guys, I'll catch you up later. I just want to get around my morning uh, routine quickly before work starts. And yeah, Una will be where we'll meet next.
I got delivery of pepper today and I wanted to show you what they look like. Um, last day I was able to do about um, three to four boxes of the bell peppers, that's the tatashi. And um, I don't really like it, though. that's the really hot pepper because it's too hot for me or my household. And I did a couple of boxes for the tomatoes and it did not last me. It actually lasted me about um, 10 months. Um, so this year I'm doing five boxes of the pepper, the hot red pepper, the bell peppers. And um, just one box of the tatashi. That's the small ones. But I've not gotten delivery of that yet. So see what I'm doing. I'm just feeling this is how I do it. I just take this off. You know, get it washed. Get it washed. You know. I get it really washed. And then I put it in a in containers or bags for me to be able to freeze. So this is what I do. I bag them in the I'm still going to add more to this one and put them in the freezer and that's what's going to last me all year round. For as many of you that desire to um, have prepared to store, this is what we do. If you are landing in, in Canada, this is what we do. Because you don't find these all year round. When you find them, you probably get some hot. The, the sweet peppers, those big ones, they are equally good. So many people still use them. But they are sweet. And you still have to get, they are not as red as this. And um, you probably have to use the small hot pepper to make it really hot. So this is hot enough for me with a little of those small hot pepper. And I'll be good to go. So I thought I should show you this. Um, how are you guys doing? Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. See you later. This is me walking to Winners and so this it's a Friday actually and I have a holiday from work and I decided to come pick up a gift for a friend at uh, Winners. So I saw this place like a mini market when you are driving into Winners. I've actually been seeing this place but I've been wondering what they do there or what they sell there. So I walked there and let me just take you through what I saw. One of my favorite favorite to munch. That's spicy. And that's sunflower. Broccoli is on the mild side. Oh, is this regular broccoli? Same as broccoli. If that will grow to maturity, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll it will turn into be... a broccoli crown. Oh. One of each is a broccoli crown. So you have way more broccoli. I think I like it. You can mix, right? Yeah, you can mix and match. 
I can do the yeah. rad radish, he said. Sure, yeah. And the um, and, and the this one. Yeah. Okay, so this three? Yes, this. Okay. How do you grow this? Just in this bird? Sorry? How do you grow this? Uh, I actually grow them indoors. So I have an office space that I convert it into an indoor growing space. Okay. So yeah, so I grow year round. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but they, they, they don't like to be too hot or too cold. You pick the hard ones? Well, I've been picking the ones that have a little bit of softness to them, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. These are still close. That's what.